Hey there, it's Patricia. Today I'll be reviewing a free document reading app, Olive Office Pro. I chose this app as one of my favourite document reading apps as it has a format I find both easy to use and functional, as I will now demonstrate. When you first open the app, the recent document screen is opened, displaying all the documents that you have recently opened or edited. As on each screen, the top right hand corner icon of an ellipsis pops up other icons at the bottom of the screen that allow you to choose multiple documents to delete, email or rename. There's also an option for uploading and creating a new document, all functions that are expected and necessary to any document reader. The function tab allows you to see more apps that the Olive brand sell. The cloud tab allows you to connect to a server of your choice, whether it be Google Drive, Dropbox or Box. This is a a simple way to access all of your cloud saved documents. Onto the local screen, the app allows you to browse files on your device via either the internal or external storage. The real test is here. How well will the app display each format of document? Starting with Word, an automatically zoomed view of the document comes up, with the bottom left hand corner displaying the blue arrows that allow you to edit the document in a basic way. All the necessities can be found here, paragraph and font settings, and your usual copy and paste. I personally think this is a pretty good document reader and works for Word documents exactly as I would want it to. As for PowerPoint presentations, the app only shows the presentation in slide format, not allowing you to edit each slide, but giving you the option to zoom. As a document reading app, I think this is sufficient as the editing part of the PowerPoint presentation is a whole other field. This format again I find appealing as it's simple to read and doesn't distract from the text. Lastly, the app shows Excel documents in a basic but presentable way, with users being able to add to cells, add to pages and edit the overall document, there are not table creating functions or any other advanced Excel functions. So this would be best for mainly viewing and reviewing Excel documents rather than the creation process. This is very similar for Adobe PDFs as well. All up, I think the app is a great document reader, very easy to use and a great option for quick review of saved documents on either a cloud server or your device's internal or external storage.